Assalamu alaikum my brothers and sisters uh, Welcome back This is your brother Abdi Muhammadur Who will be taking for you chemistry form 2 as you can see on board Today's class will be actually A concept of chemistry concerning about oxidation number uh, This is where majority of the students have got problems even in form 4 But actually today I will make sure to go and uh, analyze this concept of chemistry uh, To my best way of okay? Uh, by the way, it's very easy. Uh, if you know how an atom form an ion, okay, uh, you will not have problem with the oxidation number. By the way, make sure if you don't know that concept, how an atom form an ion, okay, you go back and uh, check my video. I'm sure you'll enjoy a lot, guys. Okay, oxidation number is also called oxidation state. We also revise what oxidation state. So if you are told divide oxidation state or oxidation number, it's just one and the same. So without confusing you, by the way, I'll try my best to give it smoothly. So they digest this concept of chemistry, okay? Now for your information, we will start with the, uh, the definition of what oxidation number. What's oxidation number? So they said what? Oxidation number refers to the total number of electrons. An atom either gains or loses to form a chemical bond with another atom. Just understand that refers to the total number of electrons an atom either gains or loses in order to form a chemical bond with, an, with another atom just understand that okay okay for your information uh, we will start with the group one okay we have we will start with what with the group one we will start with the group one so they understand so group one then we are going to say uh, a neutral atom neutral atom of group one and uh, uh, what you normally call an ion form of group one, yeah, when they are in ionic form, okay? Okay. Now, when we start with the neutral atom, we know that uh, we have sodium. Sodium is a neutral atom. So, the oxidation number of any neutral atom, be it group one, group two, group three, group whatsoever, it's always what? Zero. Because it, it does have what? A charge here on top. So, the oxidation number of any neutral atom is always zero. So if you are if you are given sodium Na alone, that's a neutral atom. Okay? So that is what you normally call then we are going to say its oxidation number is what? Zero. Just understand that. Okay, let me take also another one of group uh, group one, which is now a potassium K. Potassium, its oxidation number is also zero because this is a neutral atom. But what we know is in ionic form. When they are in ion, okay? Okay, in ionic form, look at this point. In ionic form, we know that sodium is written like this, Na plus. What do we mean? We have learned ion, we have learned ion formation in our previous video, remember? And you must have watched uh, that video so you understand this thing better, okay? Now, we know that the reason as to why we have a positive charge on top of sodium ion is that Sodium is written as 281, and it's group 1, of course. We said when group 1 group one elements are forming their ion, they are going to lose the single valence electron in their outermost energy level. So, loss of electron will result to a, a positively charged ion, which is called cation. That's what you have discussed so far in our previous video for your information, guys. Okay? Guys in high school, brothers and sisters, make sure you understand chemistry. It's a matter of understanding. And I told you the concept of chemistry is actually moving in a chronological manner, okay? In a sequential manner, just understand that. Okay, now, uh, sodium has got one valence, single valence electron in its outermost energy level. To form its ion, we say that the energy required to bring some more electrons is much more than compared to the energy required to remove or eliminate this single valence electron. And therefore, Sodium forms its ion by losing the single phallus electron in its outermost energy level. And therefore, sodium ion is written like this. So if you want to write the oxidation number of sodium ion, remember in chemistry we don't show one, okay? When it's plus or minus. So if I want to show the oxidation number, I'm going to say plus one. Plus what? Plus one. Positive one, okay? Then if the uh, also, also potassium will behave like this. We know that potassium ion is written like this, is it? So, oxidation number of potassium, uh, potassium ion will be plus one. Just understand that. So, what are we doing here? Remember, 
as we go ahead and see uh, group two, you realize that the sun, the sign of the, uh, the sign always comes, the sign always comes before the, before the number when writing the oxidation number. But in ionic form, it's a number followed by the sun. Okay, lambda followed by the sign of the of the uh, oxidation step. Okay, uh, this is. Uh, let's go to group two and see group two also. Let's see group two. Group two. Uh, you know group two. Okay, we said for any neutral atom, the oxidation number is what zero. So if I write magnesium atom, the oxidation number is zero. If I write calcium atom. The oxidation number is also zero. Just understand that. Because these are neutral now. Uh, they are neutral atom. So uh magnesium ion in ionic form. In ionic form. In ionic form, we know that magnesium is written like this. Two plus. That means magnesium has got an electron configuration of what? Two A2. So magnesium will lose these two phalanx uh, electrons in its outermost energy level. Resulting what? A positive recharge ion, which is Mg power 2 plus, okay? So if you want to get the oxidation number, you're going to say plus 2. You're going to get that. Plus uh, 2 for your information. Also, let's see calcium. Calcium ion is written like this. Ca2 plus. So the oxidation number will also be plus 2. Get this point, brothers and sister. It is very, very easy, by the way, okay? Very, very easy. Let me go to group three. Let me also go to group three. Group three. Now, group three, uh, we have what? Group three are Ron and what? And aluminium. Hassan has reason BB. You see now? That's Ron. B. Okay? Uh, Ron is written as what? Uh, B alone. Okay? But it is ionic form, remember it's ionic form because it's easy. It will be 3 plus. Just understand that. So this the oxidation number of pro neutron atom is what? Zero. But that of pro ion is what? Plus three. Just understand that. Plus three. Okay? Then we have also aluminium. Eh, eh. Aluminium. Aluminium atom, which is neutral. The oxidation number is what? Is zero. But aluminium ion is written like this. Okay? AL3 plus. So the oxidation number will also plus three. Okay? These are what? Metals. Okay? These are metals. Okay? Remember when you are writing the oxidation number, the sign will appear before the lambda. Just understand that. Sign followed by, by the lambda. So now let me see also another example from non-metals. Okay? Let's also see group seven. Group seven. Group seven. Okay. What do we know about this uh, group? Group seven form the ion by gaining one electron. Is it? Yes. So, uh, if I write now chlorine. Chlorine. Okay. This is what chlorine atom. Okay. Chlorine atom. The oxidation number is always zero. But chlorine, chloride ion in ionic form, look here. In ionic form, look here. This is a neutral atom, don't forget. Neutral atom. Chloride ion is written like this. What do we mean? Yeah? Because chlorine will gain one, one electron. We know that chlorine is written like this 287, atomic number 17 in the periodic table. For chlorine to become stable, it has to gain what? One electron. To, be, to acquire the octane state of what? Of argon, which is 288. So gain of electrons means what? In our previous class, we said gain of electrons means what? Negative, okay? Negative ion. So now the oxidation number of a chloride ion now will be negative one, okay? It will be what? Negative one. That is, I think, that's going to help you there. Then if I take fluoride, fluorine, yeah, sorry, fluorine. Fluorine, neutral atom of fluorine is zero. But fluoride ion is written like this. Fluorine ion is written like this. So its oxidation number will be negative one also. Are you getting this? Guys, 
Okay. Let me also see group uh, group six. Group, let me add for you group six so that you understand better. Okay. Let me add for you group six here. Let me add for you group six. Let me add for you group six. Okay, let's see group six. Group six is what? That is number one oxygen. So oxygen atom is rich, has got zero. Zero charge. This is oxygen atom. Okay? Oxygen atom. But remember, uh, for information, these are what? Gases. So they do exist what? They do exist as diatomic so you can write here what you can write here uh like this because they do exist as as but the moment you are writing remember color and iron remember in our period table remember we say we are not going to show the diatomic stage don't forget that because oxygen is written as or this oxygen atom so in ionic form look here ionic form we know that oxygen is what two six atomic number eight so it will gain two electrons. Gain of electrons means what? Negative. You see that oxygen ion is written like this. Or two negative. Or two negative. Then, okay, oxygen ion, oxidation state will be, the oxidation state of this will be negative two. Just understand that, please. Okay? Just understand that. What of 16? Sulfur. Sulfur, S. Neutral atom is zero, but sulfur is written like this. So its oxidation is still will be negative uh, two. Okay? Another one of which you're going to discuss is about what? Uh, the radical. The radical is what you're going to discuss. Okay? Okay? Radicals. So what are radicals? These are a group of atoms that exist and react as a unity during a chemical reaction. Groups of atoms that exist and react as a unity during a chemical reaction. Because we have learned this one. Okay? Then a good example is what? Is hydroxide. So the oxidation number of any radical is the charge. Uh, that's found on top of it, yeah? So, the oxidation number of this one is always negative 1. Okay. Let me also write for you sulfate. Sulfate is written as SO4, subscript 4, then power negative 2. So, the oxidation number will be 2. Because you see there, the oxidation number of any radical is the charge on top of there, yeah? on top of that radical. Just understand. Okay. Can I take uh, a nitrate? Nitrate. So the oxidation number is what? Is what? Is negative one. Okay. Just understand that, please. Okay. Okay. Just understand that. So this is very easy, by the way. Okay. The oxidation number of any radical is the charge on top of that radical. By the way, get that concept. Yeah. Very very clear. Just understand that. You don't write the charge by giving by writing first what the sign carried by the charge. Then another concept that is very, very important is okay, what will be the charge of uh, the sum of oxidation number of a neutral compound? Okay, that's what we're going to discuss. But before we go into that, please, there's a point you're going to consider. We, I want to talk about this one, hydrogen. Hydrogen combined with nonmetals. Hydrogen Combined with the nanometers. Comma. It is oxidation number is negative one. No, it's positive one, sorry. It is oxidation number is 
positive one. Not to be that. Hydrogen combined with combined with the metals. The oxidation number is what? The oxidation number is uh, positive one. Okay. Hydrogen combined with hydrogen combined with metals. Comma. It is oxidation number or state. Is negative one. Bear in mind that one. Please bear in mind that one. Okay. So that's what we'll be talking about later on. Okay. See that. Good reading. So hydrogen combined with the metals, its oxidation number is positive one. Hydrogen combined with the metals, its oxidation number is what? Negative. Okay. Yeah. Just understand that. Then we will go ahead and see what you normally call uh Okay, sum of oxidation numbers. Sum of oxidation numbers. Oxidation number of a neutral at a neutral comma. A neutral comma. This is what they're going to see, guys. We have discussed about that. So let me know. Remember, remember, the sum of oxidation number of a neutral compound is always zero. Please bear in mind that one. The sum of oxidation number of a neutral compound is always zero. So let's see that. Let's see that. Let's see examples, yeah? Let's see examples so you understand better. Okay? What's a common first? A common is a combination of two or more elements which are chemically combined. Is it? It's a combination of two or more elements which are chemically combined. Chemically combined, okay? So let's take magnesium oxide. This is a combination of what? Magnesium and, and what? Magnesium and oxygen, okay? Combination of magnesium and oxygen. So now what you know is, if I separate them now, I know that magnesium ion is written like this. Is that not true? Because magnesium is group two. So group two, how do they form the ion? By losing the two first electrons in that outermost energy level. Is it not so? So lose loss of electrons means what? A positively charged ion, okay? So now, what about oxygen now? Let's go to oxygen. Oxygen is written like this. Because oxygen is atomic lava, lava 8, and it's group 6. And group 6, what, what do they do when they are forming what? They are ions. They gain two electrons. Gain of electrons means what? Means negative. So now, when you look at these two now, these two, okay? The reason I told you have MgO is that we are going to cancel this one. If you say now mathematically, yeah, let's get, because we are talking about oxidation number, the one of magnesium will be plus 2, is it not so? And the one of oxygen will be negative 2. So if you add them, because here we have this one, very, very important. This one, sum of oxidation number of neutral compound is always what? It's always 0, either. Sorry to forget that. It's always 0. It's always Zero. Oh, you can write O. Oh, zero. Period. So I want to prove this one. This statement, yeah, using the math concept of what? Addition. They said what? Sum of oxidation number of a neutral carbon is always zero. So now let's see that. We have MgO. Okay? MgO is a combination of what? Magnesium and oxygen, which forms a carbon, is it? Then we know that magnesium ion is written as Mg2 plus because magnesium is group 2 as I've said. 
Oxygen is group 6 and group 6, how do they form their ion? They, we say they, they form their ion by, gain, by gaining two, uh, two electrons, okay? Okay? Now, if you add these two now, plus 2, plus minus 2 mathematically, it will be plus 2 minus 2, which will result to what? 0. So this is a good example of a neutral electron, okay? And it has oxidation number will be what? 0. Just understand that. My brothers and sisters, understand that, okay? Understand that. Let me take another one. Let me take what? Another one. Forget about group. Well, let me take group one. Okay? What about this one? Sodium oxide. We know that sodium has a positive charge in its ionic compound because sodium is written like this. And oxygen is written as? And it's also written like this, okay? Then remember about sodium has got two because we said in chemistry when you add sodium ion plus oxygen ion look here it will give you what we have got this one in ion formation it will give you so far these two cannot cancel because here we have plus one we see that so far they cannot cancel understand they will interchange the position so we'll have what sodium two oxygen O. get this point clear brothers and sisters so that's why we're having this one here they will give you this one, but a chemistry teacher mostly don't emphasize this kind of uh, uh, equation by the and how sodium oxide results, okay? Let's understand that. So what we know is sodium ion is written like this, and oxygen. So, but remember sodium has got what? Has got two. So if it's plus one, look here, times two, it will be what? Plus two, the oxidation number. So if you say now plus two, plus minus two, it will be plus two, minus 2 which is 0 now can't you see now so this will also be 0 just understand sodium ion is written as so the, the oxidation number of sodium ion is plus 1 but remember sodium has got what 2 here so you multiply by 2 that will be positive 2 and remember oxygen is what negative 2 oxidation number of oxygen because oxygen forms its ion by gain of what 2 electrons okay then if you add them mathematically if you add them you realize that the result is what 0 and that's a neutral compound, maybe. Okay? It's a what? It's a neutral uh, compound, maybe. Okay? Just understand that, please. Understand that. Okay? Let me also check for you another one. Ammonia. Let me check for you this one. Ammonia. Ammonia is a, com is, is a what? It's a combination of what? Nitrogen and hydrogen. We know that. We say that. Remember, I've written here. Two coins. There are two assemblages. I said hydrogen in combined with the hydrogen in combined with the metals has got an oxidation number of negative uh, uh, positive one sorry positive one. So now we are going to say, but remember nitrogen is what is atomic number. It's atomic number seven, okay? News Hassan has listened BBC News, okay? That's number seven. So nitrogen is written as two five, okay? So it will gain what? Two or uh, three. So nitrogen ion is written as three minus gain of electrons so minus. But we say the hydrogen in combining with the nanometers, its oxidation number is positive one. Okay? So the moment here, let's say its oxidation number is what? Positive because it's in combined with nanometers. So its oxidation number is what? Is positive one. So 1 times uh, 1 positive 1 times 3 is also plus 3. So hydrogen ion, if I separate now the two of them, hydrogen ion will be like this. 3 plus. Okay? Now if I write the oxidation number, okay? If I write, it will be what? It will be like this. Negative 3 and what? Plus 3. So let me check now. Because oxidation number, we say the sign will come before the number, is it? Yeah, that's what we have said, remember, guys. So we are going to say, let me check the oxidation number. It is minus 3 plus 3. This will give me 0 also. Remember, hydrogen in combined with other nanometers, the oxidation number is always positive 1. But hydrogen in combined with metals, its oxidation number is negative 1. Please understand this. I'm trying my best to help you guys so that you don't suffer during a national exam, KCAC. Mathematics and chemistry, have less worry about them, guys. Okay? 
you are very lucky if you join us. Make sure you also join our group WhatsApp by saving this number 0716014642. Make sure you save this number and then eh, join our group, okay? Join our group. You can message me then I will join you. I will also join you the group so that you understand this uh, uh, sequence concepts of what? Uh, chronological concept of what? Chemistry as well as mathematics from uh, form four, from form one, sorry, to form four, okay? I'm trying my best to teach you actually randomly form four, form three, form two, form one, so that you understand better. For those who are in form two, don't suffer. For those who are in form three, don't suffer also. For those who will be doing KCSE this year, don't suffer, okay? That's why we are already done with two chapters of form mathematics. That's it's statistics and what? Differentiation, okay? Okay, in our next class, we're going to discuss about integration, okay? Don't forget that. Okay, guys, I think this is uh, uh, the little I've prepared for you. And I think you, with time, I'm sure you will enjoy the exhibition number. Otherwise, we'll meet in our next class. Please don't forget to subscribe to this noble channel that's actually helping you uh, or instilling you with, the, with the, uh, knowledge, okay? As they say, knowledge is power. Otherwise, I wish you the best.